Hey guys, this is Manshark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 149 of our Long Live the King playthrough. We are, of course, Filkia Sigadar Ring, the insane immortal, uh, you know, disfigured ruler of all of Scandinavia. And we are not at war, though we were recently at war because we have 99% threat. Now, as somewhat promised, I do have a way of reducing the threat. It's called a console command. Yeah, I finally found the uh, one to add threat, which can also be used to take away threat. We might look at that in the future. Let's just have a quick check of what we were doing. So we've got an army. Paulstein's army is here. And they're moving back down this way to... Oh, they were going to raid Bohemia, I think. Yeah. Great. And these guys are going to come over here and raid um, Kiev. The Kingdom of Bulgaria. Yep, cool. So, I am honestly sick of threat. So, what I'm going to do is ignore it. So, you can see here, and I'm just justifying my decision here. The entire world, except for a couple of rebels over in India and the rebels up here, united against us for no other reason than we took over most of Africa. Small change, small change. So what we're going to do, see here, threat, 99%. Uh, you type in infamy and then the amount which you wish to add. So minus 99. Boom, it's gone, done. Fucking stupid ass mechanic. Anyway, so that means that all of these countries should be dropping out. There we go, they all dropped. Beautiful. Whenever it gets to 100, we'll, well, you know what, I'm not even going to make a promise because we're probably going to drop it faster than anything. Okay, we've got a truce with Mubarak. That's fine. We've got a truce with the Doe of Athens. And we've got a truce with the Polish Revolt. Okay, first things first, then, we're going to come up where? Okay, I know we don't have a uh, crusade up our ass. No, that's going to take a while to get here. The, well, the Orthodox Church doesn't have crusades. Catholics have another crusade in three years. So, we've got a while, so we could declare a holy war on the Byzantines. The issue there being, of course, they do have a lot of troops. But they are currently at war with um, a rebel? It was Athens, wasn't it? Yeah. Pretty sure Athens is their rebel. Yep. Cool. What's this shit? This guy here. Who are you? What are your pacts? Nothing weird, just non-aggression pacts. Hmm. Well, I think I should have that land, but I also think that I should have this guy's land over here. So he's got a few nomadic vassals, and that's it. Let's see what we can do with this guy, because if I remember right... Nah, I don't really remember right, but, you know, whatever. So it's going to be liberation shit. So we can liberate Sarkel, we can liberate Itil. That's a big liberation, actually. We should do that. We can liberate Azov. Well, Azov is uh, not bad, but, you know. Itil is the big one because it's, what's that, the Crimean? The Caspian. That's the Crimean over there. Jeez, I know things. If we do that one, then that gives us access to all of this shit. We don't have to go through these guys up here, which we will still go through. Now, let's have a quick check of the Mari. So this guy, oh yeah, he's got a bunch of tribal vassals, that's fine. Tribal vassals ain't shit. We've got a du jour claim on that place, which is nice. And of course we've got the usual uh, conquests and holy wars and that sort of thing. What religion is he? Sormanesco. So, nothing really concerning, but I want Sarkel. So I'm going to declare war on him for Sarkel. And again, get the boats and uh, 
march them up that way. You guys aren't actually raiders anymore. Hop on in. And then I'm going to declare war on this dude, who is Sunny, but that shouldn't matter. Yep. Go for it. And we're just going to kind of go... No, actually, we'll use this army to um, take shit. And this one can just... Uh, I'll dock them in here. Let's go. These guys need a military leader. Now, Saga's good on the... She's good at everything, so in she goes. You guys need a leader over this side of things. Take Carl. Hop on in. I know they're crossing a... Um... Yeah, he called in all of his dudes. They're crossing a big straight. Um, what is that? The Don? Yep. So they'll take a penalty, but, uh, well, you know, we can alleviate that by going this way. Yeah, they're just all calling each other's bros in. That's fine. Don't know where they're going. Probably to lay siege to some uh, other shit somewhere. And again, this is a war that we can totally... Oh, they've got another war going on. This is a war that we could totally prosecute by ourselves. Okay, so we occupy this land. Let's just build a fort real quick. Fuck off, mate. Almost there. Okay, that's good. Victory up there. We don't need to build a fort in that one because it's got a holding in it already. So we just send them that way. Get rid of that. Uh, taking attrition because uh, winter has come. Alright, this one again we'll have to build a fort in it. Just to hold it down. Twenty gold ain't no issue for us. What is an issue of these goddamn supply limits? So then I'm going to send this army up this way, just to camp out during the winter, while this one does its thing here. Who's taking all this land over here? Sarkel. Isn't Sarkel one of my guys? One of my guys, right? Yeah, you are. Wonderful. Have your own war here? Yeah, kind of. Depends. Do these count towards my... Yes, those count towards my occupation. Well, that's fine. It's actually fine. Okay, we've got a victory there. So these guys are going to just move on over this way. Well, apparently we're going to have a... Uh... No, nope, they fought better of it. Okay, so currently we're at 30%. Does that give me a ticking war score? Probably not. Yeah, so normally we'd like move up this way and start attacking his shit up here, but the supply limits are atrocious up there. Oh, hang on, you need to get in there and lift that siege. Cool. Called in Rostov, that's fine. Have a nice fight. Ah, Tanner built a practice range. I know you can build a weaponsmith. You know, flatter and super mare. Well, looks like we inherited a place. Which is. 
this one down here. Well, let's fuck off. Give everything to uh, Baldia here. Oh, okay, there's no Yaldum in that. But it was the county of Tripolitania. I know that. And the county of Gerba. There, sorted. Oh, well, looks like that was actually part of this battle, which was good because that gave us a lot of percentage points. And that means I'm actually going to chase these guys around a little bit because that might get us some more. Meanwhile, I might send these guys up this way. We will be going through Byzantine lands, but that's fine. We're not raiding. The military for you, young lady. Where are we? There we are. Wonderful, we captured this one. She's one of his uh, concubines. And also we've got 100%. So it should be this shit here. Lovely. Um, Fred is up to 50%. And also now we've got a bunch of tribes around this place. Yay. Oh. Now we can make the Duchy of Itil, and we will actually make that Duchy. But also we can make the Kingdom of Kazaria. Which is a little... Okay, it's a titular kingdom, so that's fine. We will make it. Yay. We've got like 57 different kingdom titles. How many? You can actually tell. 31 kingdom titles. Four duchies? The fuck is that? We shouldn't have four duchies. Guys, do I have four duchies? No, I got one. Oh, because the um the Philcharite counts as a duchy for the purpose of prestige. <sighs> I should always remember that. All right, we need to find someone to give this shitty land to. Um, we're gonna find a religious dude because they're cheap. Grant landed title, Yalam of Itil. Enjoy it. All right. Now, that's given us some access to these guys over here. Now, he is allied around the place with these guys. Most of them are nomadic vassals, though. He is also Sunni. Oh, apparently we've got army levies somewhere. That's probably... Yep. Because we um, inherited that land. That's fine, because now we don't. So, what can we do? We can do a holy war for Turkestan, yeah, whatever. Holy war for Yaik, the conquests. We can liberate Turkestan, or we can liberate Yaik. That is two provinces there, whereas it would be the entirety of Turkestan. Additionally, I believe Turkestan, yeah, Turkestan's on the route. So that's putting a real pressure on us to uh, get pieces of that spice road. And I believe that also connects us up down here a little bit, which is back to the Shabanads, but you know. We're, um, we're punching east, what can you say? Um, we should really be building shit in these places. This is not wonderful for them. Because if this guy dies, which he might do. Did it say that they will? Yeah, they revert to no man control on secession. That's actually a problem. We might lose that stuff.
all those places should be building now. Uh, it's basically the same situation we've got down in um, in this place, Tana. But if we get enough money, we'll subvert it just by building the new holdings. Just building a new castle on each one of them. Alright, so we're going to put off that particular conquest for a little bit. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Oh, hi, Chief of Murom. Yeah, I'm going to conquest this place here. Don't we have a Duke of Smolensk? No, we actually don't because it's a little weird. We're going to make the duchy title of Smolensk, though. We don't have enough money. We'll have to wait. That's right. We've got a water fight. And we're all going to form a defensive pact, of course. But, you know, that won't matter. I'm going to attack this army. Just let it come in. Because they're headed down this way. We should be able to intercept them. Yep, we got them. Yeah, I don't know if this nomad agitation that it's talking about is my secession or the secession of those provinces. Like the ruler of those provinces, sorry. One is a little bit more of a problem than the other. Where are you going? Back up to Bryansk? Let's do it. Excuse me. A quick look through the... Uh... Dirt files. Good. Nobody trying to kill uh, anybody. Yeah, all we're doing here is just taking land so that we escalate the war score. We're going to have to come back down here and beat those guys up after we finish with this army. But yeah, they're pretty finished. Uh, just go straight through the land, buddy. Always got to check everybody's damned religion. Can never be too sure. Now, I do want to create the Duchy of Smolensk, but I think building those castles has actually got a little bit more um, pressing need to it. Huh. Taking attrition there. Okay. And it looks like we need to get a commander. You'll do Ragnar. Siege Master, yes please. And we need somebody to manage this lovely young lady. Porstein can do it. Oh, we've got another siege as well, but that's actually a castle and they're taking attrition because we've, we've entered winter yet again. Alright boys, head on over to this one because you're not going to take attrition in that province. Smash and victory. All right, come around this way. Hop in there. Now 
That's 91%. We're real close. So just chase them down. This one's also a fucking tribal place. All right, so how much do we need? 473. Ninety five per cent taking attrition. That's fairly irritating. Goddamn winter. It's a severe winter as well. All right, guys, I'm just going to move you like somewhere else down here, probably. God, I wish the Byzantines didn't take that land. Actually, I'm going to move them to um, up here near Rostov, because that'll be... We can take advantage of some of that shit. Am I getting a ticking war score here? I am. Wonderful. Ninety-six percent. Yeah, take it. Ninety-eight percent. All right, well, we just leave those guys there and let them do their siege thing. But what we will do is replace. So we'll put Porcine over on that flank, and we will put our new siege commander, the Jarl of Moray, in the main part. And yep, that should fall very quickly. Oh, Independence War. How lovely. Ninety-nine. Various marriage offers. And that is 100. Done. All right, and I don't have to worry about that because it's gone to the uh, to the other bloke. And also, it's not on the list of weird succession bullshit. So, we good. Right, you guys need to... Um... Oh, man, where are we going to attack with these guys? Probably the Teutons, actually. We'll get rid of the Teutons. And the Polish. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty smart idea, actually. So we'll move over there and sort of sweep that way a little bit. Of course, we do have, like, you know, 49.4% thrown at the moment, so that's something we've got to be wary of. Just to going to declare war on this revolutionary because he's a revolutionary, and fuck him. And we can take a bit of land for free, basically. Assuming he doesn't peace out immediately. Alright, we wiped his army out, so now we're just waiting for the occupation, which will attack immediately. Bang, 100%, that's a victory. Done. Thank you. Now, who should get that? Anyone? Somebody new! So, first of all, I want to use my study. And I want to invite a holy man to court. That place. Enjoy it. Okay, now Rostov, 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 he's a member of a defensive pact, but he's only got 2,000 dudes. What about, well, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be a member of a fucking defensive pact. Yeah, look at that. You take one, go... That's beautiful. This is what happens when you get a massive amount of decadence. In fact, this is a new bloke, so we could declare war on him as well. 
I need to move my troops down to the Middle East. Because we've got some wars to do. So let's see. Can I get the boats up here? No. Get them up there. That's not going to help. Um, put them in that one. You boys get down to here. You boys can start moving down to here. Start moving them down to that one, actually. Actually, these guys are probably better off where they are up there. Because I can move the boat up to there to get them. And these boys will move further down to here. Okay. <sighs> Let's have a look at your wars. Okay, there's a holy war for Yike against the Doe of Serenicea. That's something he's involved in, not a war that he's actually doing. Decadence revolt against him. That's the big one. And he's got a... Is that against him? Yep. Then he's got one against him for somebody's claim on his empire. And another one for somebody's claim on his empire. He's got a three-way revolution. So we're going to declare about three wars when we get our armies there. I believe we had a couple of factions, but they're not really mattering. They'll go away because they're only there because of temporary modifiers. I got wounded because, you know, I'm insane. Things happen. Oh, we got a nice strong son. Well done. Well done, me. Or me. And mainly, you know, the woman, but, you know, I helped. Yeah. All right. Boats are here. Get on board. And, I mean, the really good thing is that we're in a pretty decent position to take advantage of this. Because we are... Um, you know, because we took Egypt. Which is good for us. Now we're going to take even more land. Now we should have a look at the um, trade zones. Okay, so it goes south. We got all that, but then it goes... It's all blocked because of the wars at the moment. In fact, we're getting some bonuses from up here. Eh, nice. Because there's no war along this route at the moment. Yeah, Silk Road, plus 82.5%. Everything. A lot of money. Hopefully. Speaking of which, though, we should build... Oh, you must build one of each type. Fuck you. I'll actually do it the proper way then. We're building earth forts everywhere. I don't care if it's economically viable, just do it. Right, so the first thing we're going to do when we get down here, is declare war on the actual Shabanads, I believe. They are in the defensive pact, but we'll deal with that in a moment. And we'll declare war for Nobacha. Because, I mean, that'll give us access to these guys as well. And all of this land here, which is... Shit, but, you know... It's a thing. Where are the fuck are the boats? They're coming. They're coming. I mean, the other route would be to... Hang on, fuck off. Yeah, it's just the rebels who aren't involved. The other route would be to sort of come through here and grab Dihistan. But... That's a real... I wouldn't call it a 
power move. I'd call it a um, cut off. Because if you come in here and cut down through here, you're basically preventing them from doing anything anywhere else and slowly eating them. I want to eat them from one side because that makes more sense to me. Also, the Shabonads don't need to be cut off. The Byzantines need to be cut off. Okay, you need a military guardian from the look of it. I'll finish that off for you. Okay, these guys have finished their movement. I don't suppose we've got enough boats just hanging around. 13, and that'll be the... Um, yeah, the chief of all these places. Tana doesn't have any boats. These guys probably have like 72. Oh, right. Okay. That's not enough though. We need like 100 or something. So fuck it. She'll be right, mate. She'll be right. Zero, zero, and three percent. That's fine. All right, we just need to get these guys into position. Um, oh, I'm scarred again. That's fine. I'm going to put them into that one instead, because then that's a quick march down here. I know we're over time. Just want to get these guys working. As for the actual wars we're going to declare, hmm. So one for there, yes. One for um, Nabacha. That's a guarantee. Then we've got these guys over here. Now, I do only have a one contact with them. So it'll be a holy war for Arabia, which will give me that bit there. And from there, I'll declare war on... So. We've got these guys here who are led by Fadil. And you've got these guys here who are led by Mukhtar. And are these guys here led by... And that's Fadil again. And this here is Mukhtar again. Okay, so what we're going to do... Take Arabia and then probably Baghdad. Because it's the biggest one. And once we get Baghdad, then we actually have access to the Hashemids. So Sultan Galib. Yep, Sultan Galib. And from there we can take um, either Tabriz or Tiberistan. Probably Tabriz. And that'll lock the Byzantines off from future expansion that way. Unless they want to, you know, like leapfroggers, which they they can do, but you know, we'll just have to see. So that's the plan. Whether that plan works, that's another matter. We'll have to see about that next time because we definitely hit that timer mark. <laughs> So in the meantime, I've been Sub, you've been yourselves. Later.